Hi, I'm Zoe, and in this video we're going to look at rounding to the nearest 10. Now when we're rounding to the nearest 10, it's really important that we look to the place value column to the right of that that we're rounding to. So we're going to round 238 to the nearest 10. The first thing we're going to do is put our place value headings on there. So we've got our 1s, our 10s and our 100s. Because we're rounding to the nearest 10, we look to the column to the right, so we're going to look at our 1s. Now for our pupils, we need to learn this little fact. If it's five or more, we round up, four or less, we round down. Really helpful having those arrows on there as a little bit of an aid memoir for them. So we look at our ones column. We can see it's an eight, that's bigger than five, so we're gonna round up. Now we need to decide which of our tens this is between. Using their knowledge of multiples of 10, hopefully we can see that it's between 30 and 40. Having a number line like this is really helpful for some of our pupils. So we're finding 38. 38 we can see here on our number line is closest to 40. So rounding 238 to the nearest 10 will get us to 240. Also helpful to remember that as we're rounding to the nearest 10 there will be a zero in the ones column. Just an extra fact that helps them to remind them. Now rounding a number like 99 becomes a little bit more important for them to be able to place this on a number line. So 99, we've got 90, we've got 100. This is where some pupils can fall down because 100 is also in the hundreds rather than in the tens and that's where they tend to forget. So having 99 here, we can see that 99 rounding to the nearest 10 will be 100. Hopefully this will give you lots of opportunities for pupils to practice putting things onto a number line and rounding to the nearest 10 with our little aid memoir.